gargoyles, supernatural creatures carved out of stone, a fascinating being inspired by medieval architecture and gothic tales have long captured the human imagination with their enigmatic presence. How did these stone statues come to life? And what mysteries do they hide? Don't worry, I'm here to reveal all the mysteries and stories for you to understand. I'm the canvas virtuoso. My job right now is to paint and color the image for you. Therefore, we can clarify all the vague pieces of information, put them into a big canvas, as a result, you can see a clear picture of all the painted matching pieces that you have missed. Today's job is to dive into the stories and mysteries of the gargoyle. From grotesque stone statues from Gothic and medieval times to a mythical being that guards the building from evil spirits. We're also going to talk about the symbolism, history, and myth of this stone-carved entity. Gargoyles as Statues In architecture, a gargoyle is a stone-carved masterpiece with a spout designed to convey water from a roof and away from the side of the building to prevent water from running down masonry walls and eroding the mortar between. Architects often used multiple gargoyles on buildings to divide the flow of rainwater off the roof to minimize the potential damage from a rainstorm. These stone statues are typically depicted as a winged humanoid race with demonic features, generally horns, a tail, talons, and may or may not have a beak. Many cultures became very artistic in creating these gargoyles, and over time, the more intricate versions were placed around the rooftops as more of an ornamental piece. Some were carved to resemble lions, monks, unusual mixtures of animals, monkeys, ordinary people, and even dragons. Some were grotesque, odd, and frightening, and some were even carved into comical figures. Gargoyles and grotesques are carved figures and faces usually found on churches and other old stone buildings mostly during the medieval period, particularly during the Gothic architectural era. The Gothic style flourished from the 12th to the 16th century, with its peak occurring in the 13th and 14th centuries. During this time, many cathedrals, churches, and other grand structures were constructed with intricate and ornate designs, including the incorporation of gargoyles. But is that their only purpose being decorated water spouts that project from a roof and carry rainwater away from the walls of a building, protecting it from damage? Or is there more? The story of La Gargouille. To understand why the gargoyles spout water, we have to go back to its French roots. It is said that a fearsome dragon took up residence in the marshes along the banks of the Seine River in France. While he looked like your normal, this dragon was different. Instead of breathing fire out his mouth like most dragons, he belched out floods of water. He caused problems for the people by sinking ships and eating the passengers. He flooded fields and ate all the unfortunate people and animals that crossed his path. The people of the town of Rouen called this dragon La Gargouille. They were so scared of his terrorizing that they decided to make a deal with him to keep those within the city walls safe. The dragon demanded one human from the town each year. This supplemented his diet of cattle, sheep, sailors, and those who dared to cross his territory. He demanded young virgin maidens as his annual treat, but the town folk just couldn't bring themselves to do that. They decided to give him prisoners who had been condemned to death. It didn't change the prisoners' fate. And the monster gobbled them up without even noticing. As the story goes, the villagers grew tired of the dragon's reign. An archbishop named Romanus arrived upon the scene and promised to subdue the dragon if, in return, the townspeople would build and join his church. Using a prisoner as bait, Romanus lured the dragon out of hiding. With the sign of the cross, he managed to subdue the beast and brought him by leash back to the town. The townspeople voted to burn the dragon alive as punishment for its deeds. He was burned at the stake, but to the surprise of the townsfolk. The only part of La Gargouille that supposedly resisted the flames was its head, which was mounted on a wall of the newly built church as a warning to evil spirits. The head also served as a water spout, directing rainwater away from the building. His ashes were thrown into the Seine. This act is said to have inspired the creation of the architectural feature known as the gargoyle we know today. 
So now that we know the gargoyle's origin, let's talk about the capabilities and abilities of this stone creature. Immortality. These creatures are made of stone, and their body structure is very different from the human's body. It's not affected by diseases, tiredness, not even death. Flight. In many stories and artistic representations, gargoyles are given wings, similar to those of mythical creatures like dragons or bats. These wings are depicted as functional appendages that enable the gargoyles to fly. Human form. Gargoyles in certain fantasy settings possess magical abilities that allow them to shift between their traditional monstrous form and a more human-like appearance. As we know from the Gargouise story, gargoyles are represented as guardians sitting on buildings that are protecting us against evil spirits. Their horrific appearances might be the reason to scare them away. The more hideous and frightening in appearance is all the better to scare off all sorts of dark creatures. But it can also be a reminder of hell for people who don't visit the church. It is said that gargoyles are animated guardians that come to life at night to protect, while one is asleep and vulnerable. The winged gargoyles can fly around the whole area and cover an entire village or town as well as the church, often with a sense of loyalty or duty to defend the structures they are attached to. As the sun rises, the gargoyles resume their place once more to serve as guardians during the day. In other myths, these creatures are depicted as cursed beings or possessed by the devil, attacking anyone who dares to enter its domain. We don't know whether gargoyles are good or bad, but one thing we know for sure is that these stone creatures will guard the places they reside in, defending in every possible way, whether that is through violence or their hideous appearance. This is the finished canvas of the gargoyle. I'm the canvas virtuoso your mysterious painter who is going to unveil all the mysteries of the world. For me to paint more stories, mysteries, and many more, I will need your support. Leave a like, subscribe, and comment. These actions will help me to improve and mean very much to me.